Dear customers, dear friends, dear partners in the market, welcome to our online show. I just heard we have 300 participants. Thank you for joining into all on this event here. What is the platform? Markus will tell you. That's a way of thinking since six years, very successful with, with Interall to handle conveyor products. You may think pallet conveyor handling, piece of cake. No, Markus will explain you why not. So here we are in our test room in Meckesheim to test the complete system based on core modules like roller conveyors and chain conveyors. Now we see a scene here on our transfer. A pallet is aligned against end stop and now is driving via our roller conveyor. We have different types of roller conveyors. Here installed is a standard roller conveyor with gear motor. We have also types with our drum motor available, so our so-called pallet drive, but also for light pallets. For light pallets, we use our roller drive, the so-called EC5000. Further on, we have a couple of special elements here included. So special elements means, for example, this lifting station behind. So the idea is always to give you a complete layout to fulfill the complete needs of your layout. So on top of the standard modules, we always want to deliver your complete layout. So with lifts, different infeed stations, pallet check stations. So here, feel free whenever you have a special need to ask us. So what is, what is different now? We are combining everything and we are clearing up interfaces. We also have some controls here now with the Interroll control philosophy, which you may have already learned from our MCP products. So we just see a pallet entering this lifting station. So the lift is from 350 millimeters to 600. So that are also two benefits, the low conveying height of our standard conveyors of 350 millimeters. And now the pallet is lifted up, up to 600 millimeters. 600 millimeters is the lowest level our stacker crane can handle. So that's also a space saving solution for you. And also you have later on a high storage density because the first level is really, really low of the stacker crane. Markus, you mentioned the stacker crane. I see now the stacker crane this discharging a pallet into the dynamic storage. So please tell us what is different about our stacker crane to others? What is unique with the Interroll stacker crane? The unique point of our system is we have now a combination of stacker crane and dynamic storage out of one hand. So that means the interface is perfectly matched. On one side, mechanical side, and also controls and software side. We can handle here 100 pallets per hour. The stacker crane itself is really fast. We have a horizontal driving speed of three meters per second. Why is it so fast? It's fast because of lightweight design. Lightweight design means we have here a steel design with a really, really unique points. And so we have only approximately 30% compared to other stacker cranes on the market. In so weight. In, in terms weight. Of weight. Okay. So that means Low weight means we have small drives and a small energy consumption. So for our customers, who would be interested in such a stacker crane? What, what, would be the, what kind of customers are we targeting with the stacker crane? What are kind of systems? Typically, it's customers out of food and beverage, but also all customers in truck loading and unloading areas. Everywhere where you have a high throughput of pallets. So just to make clear, the stacker crane is serving dynamic storage. It's not a stacker crane dealing with a static rack. So we don't Correct. have a fork. We, are, we have a tiltable roller conveyor on that stacker crane, and it's perfectly aligned with our dynamic storage system. So we can feed and discharge out of the dynamic storage system the pallets automatically. OK, Markus, so now we had we talked about the stacker crane, and in the background we can see also the action of the stacker crane. Uh, we, we mentioned controls before. What is unique now with the pallet platform here with the controls? Controls, so we step into two different things. So one thing in terms of controls is the control for our pallet conveyors. 
Maybe you know already our so-called multi-control for the MCP system, and now we extended this platform with the so-called pallet control. With the pallet control, now we can handle gear motors up to 2.2 kilowatts. So that means we can now control the complete MPP platform. So now you see our test equipment here installed in Mekesheim. That's the multi-control. So the upper box is the so-called multi-control, and the lower box is the so-called pallet control. The multi-control itself can handle roller drives with 24 or 48 volts. And now, with the pallet control, in addition, we can handle 400 volt motors up to 2.2 kilowatts. So that means the complete MPP platform we can now control with this decentralized system. So would that mean in a mixed system, if somebody purchases MCP, box handling, carton handling, and MPP, the upper control can be always the same because the lower control on the hardware side next to the conveyor is always the same. Is that correct for the customer? Correct. Correct. So whether you use it as a standalone system for ZBA applications, which you maybe already know from the multi-control, or on a top level you use a PLC to control the complete platform. Now the complete platform is made like a Lego concept. So you can combine all the different modules like a Lego concept, all the interfaces are matched, and it's, you have an easy and fast planning by this. So you only have to know where the pallets should come from and where the pallets should go, and then you can easily plug and play all the different modules we have to reach your final layout. How would we do the planning, or how would a customer do the planning? Customer has different solutions to plan it, whether you can ask our interroll colleagues or we can also give you our layouting tool. So this is a tool you can use on your app, you can use on your own to lay out your project. On the screen now we see the main user interface of our layouter. Now the layout, you may have seen already different layout tools in the market, but this one is different. Because, why is it different? We are coming from the application, so you would be able to type in, first of all, your application tasks, like pallet quality, pallet weight, the speed, the throughput, uh, long side leading, short side leading, the pallet type. We are talking about different pallet types which are preset in the layout tool. Once you do this, the layout tool will do some calculations in the background, like what speed is recommended, what type of conveyors are possible to handle the pallet, which types of conveyors are not possible to handle the pallet. So Gries is now ma maneuvering through the menu. Now he places a starting point. He will be asked for the angle of the conveyor. He will be asked for the side of the drive. And once that is finished, he will get a conveyor. Maybe you can hide the menu, we can see the conveyor, maybe we can shade the conveyor and turn it a little bit in 3D mode. Here you can see how it is presented. So this three-dimensional appearance of the conveyor is simple, but it is exactly the outside dimensions of the conveyors which you will receive afterwards on site. Now this conveyor is not only a visual appearance, if you maybe you can access the data of the conveyor, Now Gries has opened the conveyor settings and in the settings you can see each and every data which you need afterwards to produce it or you as a customer to do your controls engineering. You will see the type of drive, you will see the number of sensors, you will see the number of proximity switches, you will see the power, the, um, the current, you will see the voltage, everything will come up later on in a conveyor list which is uh, which is an Excel format and this is the starting point for interval engineering for production which is nearly automatic and which is also the starting point for you as a customer for your control engineering and also for in the offer phase. And you find, you find each and every product platform in that tool. You will find the MPP pallet platform, you will find the MCP, the conveyor platform, you will find the dynamic storage, including the racking, including the lanes in that tool. You will find the stacker train. And finally, you will also find the transfer car, which we haven't talked about yet. 
Yeah, let's have a look on the transfer car. Also the new module of our platform. So especially made to handle dynamic storage also in high throughput applications. So here we see it in live. So just the pallet is going into the dynamic storage. You see it's a quite simple and easy setup. The transfer car itself is a really small and simple design. So the top of roller is 280 millimeters. So that gives you the advantage if you have a couple of levels, levels on top of each other, it's a space saving solution. But also if you handle only normal roller conveyors of the MPP platform, for example, you feed dispatch lanes, these dispatch lanes can be quite short of this low conveying height. So the transfer car has one driven roller conveyor on top. And this motor for this roller conveyor is the only drive we have on top of the transfer car. This gives us some advantages in the size of the transfer car, but also on control side. So maybe you recognize we have no switch cabinet on top of the transfer car. So that means we save the space for the switch cabinet. We save the, invest the investment for the switch cabinet. And we do not need any communication between the main switch cabinet and the transfer car. You see here also a special design for the rails. So the rails are here in combination with the mezzanine. The rails are one part of the mezzanine and so we, sp we, we save space. So that gives us the advantage to have the height of 280 millimeters of the transfer car. Maybe you already saw the angle of this roller conveyor can be changed. So now we have a situation, the roller conveyor is lifted up to a horizontal position and the pallet can go into the lift. The standard position of this roller conveyor is in minus 4%. So the angle is aligned to the dynamic storage. As a summary, give us a two sentence elevator pitch of what is unique. Yes, customers now have the advantage of a really powerful and strong platform of MPP of pallet conveyors. They can decide to go only for, for one special module or they can have a complete system like you saw here in our showroom. The complete system gives you the advantages of a combination of different tools where all the interfaces are perfectly matched. So that means there is no risk for you that something does not fit. The, the function is proven and the availability of the system is quite high. And by the modular design and our layouting tool, you have easy and fast planning. That sounds great. So dear customers, dear friends, dear partners, uh, I hope we didn't infect you with Corona, but I hope we infected you with the interval virus. That's a positive <laughs> virus. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much for having, for having us here, taking your time. And uh, whenever you have questions, please approach our sales force. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you.